Next stage now, before we put in the oil, I understand we're going to clean the plugs. We're not going to, we didn't buy new plugs because like um, the last time I bought some okay Bosch plugs. So um, the, the garage man told me, the, the, the Triple J um, guy, Mr. Singh, told me that, yeah, don't need to buy new plugs, just clean them up. And so we're going to clean out the plugs and then what else? Yeah, well, we're going to unclean the plugs. We have our gas filter to change. So we're going to start with the plugs and show you how to get all the plugs on them. Yeah, yeah, I pull out the leads, but I don't know where you're pulling out first. Because every lead, yeah, I don't make sure I'm putting it back in place because you might end up in problems. Understand? It's, a, it's a like number one here, right? The engine normally comes from here, front of the engine. This is number one. So you make sure you put this plug on the side. Number two, you put the plug on the side. Make sure, every, make sure everything in place that you see if the plugs mix up, you could cause the engine could idle with a miss. You could end up in real problems, there might be loss in power, all kind of thing. So, you gotta make sure and get them out in, 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 in our order. Put them back in our order, take them out in our order, put them back in our order. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, we go put four across here. This is a socket now, it have, a, it have all the different kind of socket. So I don't know the size that going on inside to, to, to hold your plugs, to take it out of the engine. So right now we're taking it out from on the head right now. What size of socket we use? A five it? I will tell you what socket we use there just now. What kind of, what size of plug it is? Plug wire, so all right. Well, this is we here now. Yeah, I take back the plug wire now. Send it down. So you'll get all the plugs. Cool. You see that? So it's like just pulling it out for you. So you might be screwing, 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 and you might say, well, but this plugs didn't want to come out or it break or some kind of thing. But this time it did on inside. They don't screw. Out. So you take the, the lid. You send it back down, and you plug it, pull it back out. So this is you here. So long the kind of tune up. So the plugs look like it need cleaning. How do we clean that? We um we just with a wire brush or something? Yeah, we are there to take a wire brush. And we'll take some of the spray that you had and just spray it and wire brush it. What's that? The bars? Yeah. Okay. So we'll get it properly clean out and then. if 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 you haven't got bars, what else can you use? No well, you could use some gas, a little bit of gas. Uh -huh. Petrol, but you can really make the plugs wet too when you're putting it back in. Yeah, make sure you, you spray it out, you clean it, lay it dry properly and put it back in. Right. Basically, we're going to clean it right now with, with a little bit of bars and the wire brush. Right. And then after, we go gap it. Because during the cl cleaning, you might adjust the gap. Yeah. Right. Spray the plugs first. Right. Hey, rest down your wire brush so you could hold it anyhow you think. But I find it safer ways. Better you rest down the brush. And you clean, clean the plugs like this. But normally if you're holding it so in your hand you could damage oh, yourself. Yeah, yeah, you could damage yourself. But if you buy new plugs, you just put them straight in. Or yeah. you, you, you'd gap it properly first. Yeah, you make sure well normally your, your plugs come to a standard, don't know. Oh, so if you buy a new plug, you won't need to gap it? You won't need to gap it, but you see, why is the vehicle moving, driving and thing, and you have the same plugs? You see, remember, this is Ignite thinner, with the gas thinner, to start up the engine to make everything thing. So, every time you ignite, ignite, it keep burning, 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 you understand? So, right now, we're using, normally, you could use a hacksaw blade, but we're using arm. I feel like gauge right now. We're using a 35 here right now. Right? Okay. So yeah. the, the, the better thing to use to clean it is the wire brush, not sandpaper. Nah, the better thing is the, is the wire brush. The sandpaper would leave residue. Yeah, you yeah. went up in real problems. We had only plugs more than we might think it is. So this is we here. We just had to open it up a little bit. Showing you how, how we're gonna gap the plugs in all. We're gonna um, open the plugs a little bit to meet the um, gap in point. Eh? Yeah. 
राइट सो दैट इज स्पेस यू वर मौसम भी तो टाइट है मौसम भी तो स्लैक सो इज दैट सो स्लैक नो नो इट इट आई फाइंड इट प्रॉपर्ली दे फॉर मी इफ दे वर कोड दे दे गैप इन पॉइंट दे वाइल्ड थिंग दैट्स टेक अ स्क्रू ड्राइवर एंड दैट्स स्टॉप राइट वी गेट इट राइट सो जस्ट इट्स गॉट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ग्रिप राइट सो इट्स ऑल वी गेट अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ ग्रिप दे नो So it easy you could use a hacksaw blade or once you have a feel like it but remember this is a garage so we got a feel like it but if you do have a feel like it you could use a hacksaw let's show any blocks set back up your arm well you was asking my question on earlier one right this is our arm a 5 feet plug spanner normally i use a tab but a depth socket right normally it is a different size for different Fecal. Yeah, son, but you gotta be real careful when you're putting it into because this is the head you're dealing with. You see, if it improperly screwed on, the way it come back out, right? You could end up in problems. So, how do you know when to stop turning? When it's like well, hand tight? You see, when you arm, you see, like just how you arm, how you take it out, right? Before you slacken it, right? How we come out free and nice? It's supposed to go back down free and nice the same way. Not supposed to really give no hard point because if it give you a hard point, I mean that something wrong. I die going up cross shredded. Put oh, some grit or dirt in there. Yeah, you could damage it. You could damage the block, the head, the head in the shredded. Um, the shredded in the head. Bad Granny Paul Vera. Mohammed. We're here with Rajesh, the son of Mad Cow. This is part two of the Caribbean motor racing. Yes, we're racing in the super class. Mm -hmm. uh, we want you to go out there and do your best, but we don't want you to do your best at the risk of another driver. Mm -hmm. 